Yes, leave whatever your narrative and your attention. You are going to be learning about isotopy. Isotopy. Iso what? Topy. Isotopy is a phenomenon in chemistry that is very basic and important. You need to know about it. Is that clear? Isotopy. What is isotopy? It is expected and from Dalton's atomic theory, you understand, that atoms of the same element are always the same. Is that clear? That's what Dalton's atomic theory say. That when you come and find the atom of potassium here in Abuja, is that clear? When you go to Kano and see another potassium, when you bring it, the atom is still the same thing. There's no difference. Is that, is that, is, that's the statement of the Dalton's atomic theory, isn't it? Atoms of the same element are always alike. But you find out that due to advancement in chemistry, when we started using spe mass spectrometer and other equipment, you find out that this is not true. Atoms of the same element, potassium, potassium, you understand? But they are not alike. One might be having the atomic uh, number of this, mass number of this, this one is having mass number of another thing. Two of them will have the same atomic number. You understand? If it is potassium that has, uh, calcium has 20, isn't it? 20. If you get it here, it will have ma uh, atomic number of 20. If you get it in Zule, there is still at atomic number of 20. But the mass number is not the same. I know that mass number is simply the number of proton plus the number of what? Neutron. Number of proton plus the number of what? Neutron. Now, the concept of isotopy is saying that the number of neutron of the atom of potassium that you find here might not be the same number of neutron in the one you find in Suleja. Number of neutron in the one in Suleja may be 19 and the one you find here will be what? 18. Is that clear? Making the mass number to be what? Different. The atomic number are the same, but the mass number is what? Different. Because the atomic number is the basic identity of the element. So it's the same, it doesn't change. If you say the first 20 elements, hydrogen is one, is it not? Helium is two, is it not? It's the same thing everywhere. But their mass number does what? Vary. Their mass number do what? Vary. Their number, mass numbers do vary. Is that clear? And that is what isotopy is. As they say that isotopy is the existence of atoms of the same element. Atoms of the same what? Element. Having the same atomic number but what? Different what? Mass numbers. They have the same atomic number. Atomic number doesn't change. Is that clear? But the mass number can be different because of what? The difference in the number of what? Neutrons. The difference in the number of what? Neutrons. This is due to the difference in the number of what? Neutrons. The mass spectrometer shows relative abundance of what? Isotope. Then how do we explain this? Now, you know that hydrogen has the atomic number of what? One. Isn't it? But you find out that you can have hydrogen having the mass number of one, we can have hydrogen having the mass number of two, and we can have hydrogen having the mass number of what? Three. But do you see that the atomic number is the same all through? Can you see? Atomic number of or atomic uh, number of hydrogen is always what? One. So what is the number of neutron here? Number of neutron. Who can tell me the number of neutron here? Who can tell me? What is mass number? What is mass number? Mass number is equal to what? Number of proton pro number plus number of what? Neutron. Is that clear? A number of proton is always equal to number of what? Electron. Is it not? So if the number of electron here or the atomic number is one, what this one will also be what? Proton. So what is the neutron? Zero. Number of neutron, this thing is, is, the mass number is one proton plus what? Zero neutron. And that's why it is equal to what? One. What is the number of neutron here? Huh? 
one because we have one neut one proton plus what one neutron. The electron here is one, which is the atomic number. So definitely, it's always equal to the word proton. So proton is one. So what is the remaining thing that made it two? Is the neutron. Is that clear? This one has how many proton? Hmm? How many proton? One. How many neutron? Two neutron. So can you see that the number of neutrons is changing from zero to one, from one to what two? So that is actually what is causing the isotopy. Had it been constant, one, 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 the mass number will always remain two. And if it is zero, zero, the mass number will always remain one. Is that clear? So that's why we say this is due to the different number of what? Neutron. Now, if you come to this, uh, this uh, uh, hydrogen is not a triton. This one is deuterium. This one is what? Protein. Now, if you come to oxygen, oxygen has the atomic number of what? Atomic number of what? Eight. It doesn't change. But it can have various mass numbers of 16, 18, or 17, or what? 18. What is the most stable and most common isotope of oxygen? Which one? The first one. Oxygen 16 is the most common, isn't it? Isn't it? That's why we use 16 as the mass number, isn't it? Not? Then the same thing happens with chlorine, chlorine, isn't it? It has atomic number of what? 17. But you can see that the mass number varies. Here is that 5 and here is what? That's 7. Now if you say what is the relative atomic mass of chlorine, you see that it's around 35.5, is it not? Do you know why it's at 5.5? Because the relative atomic mass is normally the weighted average of the mass numbers of the what isotopes. The relative atomic mass would have been only 35 or only 37, but because there are two, you can calculate the what the average. That's what gives the relative atomic mass of chlorine to be 35.5. Is that clear? Is that clear? So that's how we come about that. That's how we come about that.